So for this video, I'm gonna talk about the correct placement onto the natural lash because I'm still seeing, you know, years down the line here that people are still swiping or painting the glue or the extension onto the natural lash and that is completely wrong. We can't be doing that anymore because it's gonna affect the retention. And sadly, I'm having students come to me that trained, let's say three, four months ago and this is still being taught and this is being taught by big, companies that are meant to be reputable companies and they're teaching outdated techniques. So years ago we used to work with very very weak glues like sensitive glues, we used to train our beginners on sensitive glues, why we would do that I don't know and as such you had to actually paint the lash because you needed to coat so much glue on that natural lash to get that blimmin' thing to stick because the glue was so bad and we almost needed to activate the cure by doing painting and what I mean by painting is I'm going to show you was they were coming in with their glue and just almost like coating the whole natural lash like this before we place. We cannot do that anymore. And the reason being is that we now work with a lot of advanced glues. Our glues these days are so much better than what they used to be. They don't need to be painted, they are so strong. And what happens if you paint with a good glue is that you get a build up of minuscule air bubbles between this natural lash and the extension and also you start the cure so if you do this you're activating the cure so which is like the setting of the product so by the time you go to place your extension on that product's already started to cure so your lash within a couple of days will just fall off because your cure has started and like I said also you are getting a build-up of invisible air bubbles between that natural lash and between the extension so in that gap there you would have a build-up and that is going to cause that lash to break off and fall off so the correct method nowadays with these very very good glues is no painting we land the helicopter on the egg is what I say to my students so we come in straight away we make contact with that natural lash Make sure you've got a grab and we let go. That's all we need to do. We do not want to be losing contact with that lateral lash. So if we're coming in like so, and we're, let's see if you can make sure you can see that, and we're doing this, and this, and this, my glue is actually cured now. And if I put it on, it might look like it's stuck, but it hasn't, and trust me, in two or three days time, your client is gonna be on the phone complaining that that extension has fallen off. So we must place only. So showing you one more time, we get the right amount of adhesive. We come in, we place on, so we match up, we line up where we want it, make contact, steady hand, feel the grab, let go move if we need to but we try not to we try to get it on perfect first time and then come away so it is no longer swiping or painting we must place only we must never lose contact with the natural lash and that is going to assist with your retention on clients